some people are emailing us, Charlie, don't make fun of witches. They have a lot of power. That's not true. They do not have a lot of power, but they do have some, if they're really into it, I do believe. Mm, he says they don't have a lot of power, but as you're going to see, they kind of showed that they do. There's some very dark spiritual implications and dynamics here. And look, I've encountered witches before when I was once speaking. This is not a joke. When I was once speaking at Legacy Church in Albuquerque, New Mexico, in the land of enchantment, which is, in my opinion, the most outwardly pagan state remaining in America. A lot of great Christians, but there's a lot of weird witchcraft that happens in New Mexico. Uh, I spoke at Steve Smotherman's church, and I was talking about how I believe marriage was between one man and one woman. This was back in July of 2021. I'm not making a word of this up. Mikey could tell, attest to this. Our whole team can. I gotta pause. Like, imagine being on the marriage should be between one man and one woman train in 2021. Brother, you've got to move on. You've lost. You have lost that battle. It's time to move on. But regardless, I don't want to bury the lead here. And three witches came up and they started saying stuff at me. And maybe it was a coincidence. Maybe it wasn't. But I got super sick right after that. Again, maybe it's just a coincidence. Who knows? Maybe you think it's all a bunch of horse pucky and all that. But that was, uh, that was pretty chilling. And so uh, they, they came into the church. And by the way, Steve Smotherman, great friend in Albuquerque, tells me they have witches that come into their church all the time. And you might think it's all a bunch of nonsense and it's all just a bunch of vapor. Or you might think that there's actually a spiritual war playing out. Obviously, I believe that those unclean spirits are subservient to truth, to Christ, and to the one God. I think that him saying that correlation doesn't necessarily equal causation is it's good, right? Because you don't want to jump to too many assumptions. But I just want to confirm to Charlie Kirk that not only was he cursed by those witches, but the curse is ongoing. So I'm not sure if you've noticed Charlie Kirk throughout the years. Notice anything interesting about this photo here? Notice how his features, his nose, his mouth, his eyes are getting smaller with time. And then this is the worst that I've seen it, right? So they are causing his face to shrink, okay? That's, that's no coincidence. I know that haters are going to say that that's Photoshop, but no, that is the result of witches casting a spell on Charlie Kirk. So listen, witches have done a lot of very base things before. They cursed Kavanaugh. I don't know if that took effect, but he says that they're not powerful, but if they can make him physically ill, I think that that speaks to their power. Now, you're all probably wondering, like, why the fuck is he talking about witches in the first place? So it all stems from this. So Charlie Kirk claims GA jury for woman is witch trying to put spell on Trump. Now, his evidence cites her, <laughs> cites her Pinterest post about herbs. Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> so political commentator Charlie Kirk apparently believes Georgia jury for woman involved in the election crimes case uh, regarding Trump is, pra is a practicing witch. Emily Kors, or as Kirk has affectionately lab labeled her, Harry Potter girl. Wait, you're, are you trying to use Harry Potter derisively? Because J.K. Rowling is one of your people now. She's bigoted enough to where you should accept her. Let me, let me find the um, Onion article. Evangelical leaders announced J.K. Rowling finally bigoted enough that it's okay for kids to read about witchcraft. <laughs> I love that so much. The Onion never misses. Um, anyways, so she appeared on um, various news outlets on Tuesday offering an inside look at the grand jury investigation of Trump's effort to overturn election results in Georgia. After her media appearances were circulated far and wide, Kirk suggested that Coors was a closeted witch, thanks in part to the discovery of her Pinterest page. On the Wednesday edition of The Charlie Kirk Show, Kirk broke down his findings and even shared a personal story of a witch encounter he claimed to have in 2021. I, and that's what we just watched, by the way. I saw a clip of her this morning, and as soon as I saw it, I said, Oh, wow, they have a Harry Potter girl running Trump's grand jury, Kirk said. There's a culture that was created, especially with millennials, where they got super obsessed about Harry Potter, and they talk a certain way, and they giggle a certain way. What the is he talking about? She thinks she's a witch. And by the way, this is not what she's confirmed. Like, he's just completely speculating about this random woman. 
I shouldn't say random, and about this woman who he doesn't know. Um, she thinks she's a witch, and it turns out that my suspicion was actually totally and completely correct. We found her Pinterest page, the Harry Potter Girls Pinterest page, Kirk uh, exclaimed. After explaining a few of her previous uh, media appliances, do they mean appearances? Did they type this on a phone, or is this chat GPS? They've got to mean appearances, right? Am I going crazy? After explaining a few of her previous media appearances, Kirk elaborated on the research he found on Corey's Pinterest page. She posts on her social media page about herbs, about a casting a circle, demonic circles, how to cast spells. Not a joke. This is all on her social media page. She actually is a witch. She's into witchcraft, Kirk said. As soon as... <laughs> we got to try to watch the video. <laughs> as soon as I saw the video of her, I said, whoa, that is someone who thinks they're... Hermione Granger, Kirk said, referencing the famous Harry Potter character. <laughs> and by the way, side note, like, this is Hermione, okay? How do you get Hermione out of this? Fuck off, J.K. Rowling, with your Kingsley shackle, shackle boat bullshit. That's Hermione, okay, not Hermione. Anyways, let's watch the video. They link to it. Let's try to see if we can uh, get to that part. Oh, they do, they do have a time stamp. story to explore with you today. The jury for woman. Let's see what the chat is, says too. I guess you could say the point of contact for the entire grand jury being a four woman means she swears in witnesses. She's kind of not in charge, but I guess you could say that if there was a hierarchy, she would be the most important person in a grand jury. She is speaking out about what we may or may not expect. And she's being rather cryptic about it, but... Instead of actually what she is saying, th it's going viral and being covered all over the news today because it's her style and her cavalier spirit and her attitude is really noteworthy. So I saw a clip of her this morning, and as soon as I saw... Yeah, hey, Jeff Waldorf, how's it going, man? It's 2023, and they're, going, uh, uh, they're doing literal witch hunts. Exactly. That's a great point. Insanity insanity but i said oh wow they have a harry potter girl running trump's grand jury as soon as i saw it now, i have nothing against harry potter i think it's fine i read all the books growing up but there is a culture that was created especially with millennials where they got super obsessed about harry potter and they talk a certain way and they giggle a certain way and i was like that girl is she thinks she's a witch and <laughs> So because she talks and giggles a certain way, he's like, got her. She's a witch. That's so that's so stupid and unhinged. Like what a giant. I don't want to call it a, a logical leap, but what, <laughs> what a giant leap. I've got to say, though, it's funnier reading out the transcript compared to like just listening to him. It turns out that my suspicion actually was totally and completely correct. Let's see the evidence. We found her Pinterest page the Harry Potter girl's Pinterest page, and she's really into witchcraft. That's not an insult. Well, it is an insult, but it's not me exaggerating. It's not hyperbole. It's a fact. She's big into alchemy, crystals, how to be a witch. We ha Let's see. Oh. Okay. Types of potions, herbs you can grow in water all year. Okay. Look, I think that he's got her dead to rights. Harmless and easy, leave me alone spell. You'll just need pen and paper? Okay. Well, look. I mean, if he gen genuinely thought, wow, she's a witch, um, I guess maybe his witch star is pretty accurate. Because I think that, yeah, she's she's interested in this stuff. She's a Harry Potter girl. Okay, okay, Charlie, you've convinced me. Keep going. The images right here that we could put up on stage, uh, on screen here. So literally the jury for woman who is now- I've got to say it is a little bit creepy that he saw her and thought she was a witch and then looked at her Pinterest page. That's a little bit weird, don't you think? She must be a witch. Let me check out her Pinterest. I mean, it turns out that maybe he's right or maybe, maybe he thought that she was like- I don't know, a little bit interesting, a little bit quirky. And he thought to look up her page and then he saw that she has potion stuff and it's like, ah, 
I suspected she was a witch, but really he didn't. I don't know. Going on cable television about a potential looming indictment of Donald Trump in Georgia that has mass civilizational implications is a witch. I want you to listen to her as soon as I heard her. Okay, I just got to, I'm so sorry. So somebody in the chat says, I identify as Michael Jackson and my pronouns are he, he. And then they're all like busting a gut in the chat. You're going to see as it continues to scroll. I've got to say, that's probably the best pronoun joke that they've come up with, but it's still like, they're all still very stale, but like they're losing it in the chat over that joke. I love how like nobody's even paying attention to him talking about witches and they're just like talking with each other in the chat. That's that's beautiful tone and her attitude and quite honestly, the cringiness of her. Say hello to Zoya. Like, this is the worst the millennial generation. Stop licking offered. the. And yes, I know <laughs> many of that? you have been tired of me criticizing boomers. Trust me, I can criticize all generations equally. Motherfucker, you are a boomer. Why are you licking the chair, though? Go get your bone. She's coming to say hi. This woman, her name is Emily Coors. She's the forewoman. And she's not a serious person. Who thought it was a good idea? He would know. Put her on television to give her stage time? I have no idea. Even CNN is in total damage control. CNN is in total crisis comms right now. Maybe it was just her. Maybe she was just, I want to go on TV. I want to be famous. I'm important. Woo! 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 All right, you'll hear it for yourself. Let's go to... Yeah, let's just start one by one. Let's just listen to all. Play Cut 60, Harry Potter Girl on CNN. One of the biggest questions remaining for everyone that wasn't in that jury room with you is how many people are in trouble here? I'm hesitant to speak to something that the judge made a decision not to share. Is it yes. more than 12 people? Is it more than 20 people? It's not a short list. Not a short list. <laughs> <laughs> okay. More than a dozen, though, I think I'd heard you say in another. Okay. I'm so sorry for having to pause it again. I I'm really fixated on the chat. These people are freaks. So they did a they changed their name to George Floyd, and then they put CNN equals Clown News Network. And by the way, like this is the first time that I've heard her speak. I don't get any vibes that tell me that she's a witch, right? So, like, you have to be looking to be suspicious. And, and by the way, just to be clear, I don't believe that he thought, oh, she's a witch, then his suspicion was confirmed. I think for some reason he decided to check on her Pinterest. Maybe he thought that she was attractive. And so he did a, a little bit of social media stalking, found out she's a witch, and now he's like, oh, I can't, I can't date somebody like, like that who's a witch. I don't know. It, the fact that he spent so much time on this on this is really weird. And what's and I'm self-aware enough to realize that the fact that I'm spending so much time on how he's spending so much time on this is also a little bit ironic. But, you know, that's the world we live in, folks. Interview. Continue with the giggling. Okay. And what about that is so fucking weird? I Like, I don't understand. What about that is so suspicious to him? It's bizarre. Humoring. Cut 61. After everything that you've seen, what would your reaction be if the DA decides against bringing any charges after what you've seen? I will be sad if nothing happens. Like, that's, that's about my only request there is, is for something to happen. I, I will be frustrated if nothing happens. And if it was just a perjury charge or perjury charges, would that be acceptable to you? That's fine. I will be happy as long as something happens. <laughs> yeah it's really funny someone might go to jail and have to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars to defend themselves but that warrants a giggle now maybe that was just a nervous giggle shut up it's obviously a nervous giggle not everyone is super media trained why are you hyper analyzing all of her speech patterns and her mannerisms and the way that she laughs and giggles is he trying to be a body language expert? It's just so weird to me. You're in front of millions of people making a complete fool out of yourself. And now we learn about her love of alchemy. No joke. She posts on her social media page about herbs, about casting a circle, demonic circles. Based. How to 
cast spells. Not a joke. You this sound is triggered. All on social media page. You sound triggered, Charlie. Are you triggered? She actually is a witch. She's into witchcraft. And as soon as I saw a video of her, I said, whoa, what, 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 woo. LARPing on live television, live action role playing, trying to be a serious person. She just, she just can't pull it off. Yeah, listen. Motherfucker, you of all people have the audacity to accuse someone else as LARPing as a serious person on television. The gall of this motherfucker whoa. to accuse somebody else of LARPing as a serious person. God damn. Dude. Your show is what, like three hours? How much time did you dedicate to, like, this poor innocent girl? Leave her alone, okay? Get off her dick. The witch thing was funny at first, but, like, you're coming off as a complete Whoa. fucking psychopathic creep. Be a witch in Georgia, not my thing. You could go into the hinterlands and go cast spells amongst your fellow friends. If you're going to be a forewoman of a jury that involves a former president, you got to be a lot more serious than this. This is not a joke. What? Woo! I'm gonna come. Do not come. 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 Welcome, Welcome to the Come Zone.